What's up guys, it's Tyler from the Aquatic Journal and today we have an announcement, I guess, for YouTube at least. On TikTok, I already announced this, but we have fish for sale and they're for sale on stockmytank.com slash aquatic journal. I'll link it in the description so you can check it out there. But yeah, Stock My Tank is like the new version of Aquabid. I'm one of the first sellers to come on board. Um, I think overall it's a great site. It's like a HD version of Aquabid. Aquabed has been around for a while and then really updated their platform. It is kind of confusing for new people, but I think this one will be easy to navigate. You'll be able to look at sellers and just see what they have for sale. So I'll have a bunch of fish and a bunch of plants for sale. I'll even give you a little preview on some B-roll later on what I have for sale. But yeah, go check it out. In today's video though, I'm going to show you how I'm going to ship my fish. So I got a few orders through TikTok and we're gonna show you how we pack them up. So you can see the boxes already behind me, but I'll go through step by step. So we start with a US Postal Service medium flat rate box. These boxes are free. You can pick them up at the store or get them shipped to your house either way. Then what I do is I take insulation foam board. I got this at Home Depot. I'll put the link again for that in the description. But I basically just measure the inside parameters of this box. And then I cut some to the bottom and the top. And then basically you measure the total gap so what this is, is I believe it's eight and a half by 11 on the bottom. The ones going up the sides are four and a quarter tall. So it's eight and a half by four and a quarter, eight and a half by four and a quarter. And then the middle one is 11, except you minus an inch. So it's actually four and a quarter by 10 because of each side on the end. And then a top as well. So you'll see all those cuts and I'll fill up this box here in a second. First piece is eight and a half by 11. You can see it's almost a perfect fit. You don't have to be exactly perfect, just good enough. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut the sides. So you can see I cut the sides. What you actually want is you want enough gap that your top can fit on and the lid can still close. I try and make mine a little less than half an inch so it kind of closes a little snug. And now I'll go ahead and cut the sides and the top. So now the sides of the box are on and we have a lid that would fit nice and snug there and then it will close. So now we just gotta get the fish in there. So we have some of these green cobra males that are going. They're actually gonna go with females too, which I have in a different tank. We also have a pair or two of the endlers going out as well. And these are also available on my site. I also have some of these bristlenose pleco babies going out as well. Basically, I'm gonna take this cup full of water, scoop in a pair, and then dump them into the bag from there. So let me go ahead and scoop them out. With the two bags, it's actually pretty snug, so I don't really need to add any packers, packing paper, or anything like that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add this heat pack in because it is gonna be a little bit cold for the next couple days. I'm actually gonna wrap it up just in this. Put this in here, wrap this heat pack in there, and then close it up. I'll go ahead and do that now. And here's the box all boxed up. What you do want to do is you want to make sure that there's room to breathe so you don't want to tape over these ends here as the heat pack does need air. But this is all ready. I'll put the envelope on or the sticker on and it'll be ready to go. I got a couple more of these to mail out so I got to get working pretty fast. So we're here at the post office. It's actually, if you can see it, it's 512 right now. This one closes at 530. The goal is to get to the post office as late as possible so that the fish are in the mail as little as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and go in and drop these off and we'll be right back. Some things I forgot to mention is I'm only shipping Monday and Tuesday each week. That should guarantee that the fish make it by Friday of each week. It's a three day maximum of that's if like if you're in zone six, which I think for me is like Southern California, basically that's about as far away as you can get. And it should still make it there in three days tops. Really, the fish should be fine. They get shipped overseas in these same conditions, so really we shouldn't have an issue. I'm shipping with heat packs right now. As soon as it gets warmer, I won't ship with a heat pack anymore because it won't be needed, but for now, it is needed, so I just go ahead and add it. It's not very expensive for me to add it, and it'll make sure, excuse me, it'll make sure that the fish make it there nice and happy and healthy. So if you're at all interested in seeing my fish, you can check it out on the website. I'll link it in the description below. And if you're shipping fish, I certainly hope this was helpful. If you're shipping more than two bags of fish, honestly, I would step up to the large flat rate box. You probably can fit three or four bags in there. That one's probably like 24-ish dollars to ship. 
versus the median flat rate, which is about 16 right now. So yeah, that's kind of the going rates that we have right now. I'm super excited to start selling fish besides the ones that you saw. I'll be selling ram's horn snails, um, Malaysian trumpet snails. I'll be selling a lot of floating plants, so red root floaters, dwarf water lettuce, Salvinia minima, even duckweed if you want it. And basically any plants that I can get to grow in here. Right now we kind of have a little bit of an algae bloom, but not a huge issue. We'll get that figured out and the plants are still growing. So I'm not in any huge rush to fix it. I also have plants growing in this tank here that behind me as well. But yeah, if you're interested in any of that stuff that I mentioned or just to see what I have for sale, things will be changing probably a lot. I'm looking to bring a few new fish into the fish room that I haven't had before. Um, as of literally right now, I just bred my Geophagus brasiliensis. So if you're interested in geos, probably a couple months from now, probably three months from now, I'll probably have those for sale. Um, if I raise them up, there should be a lot of them, probably more than most people are gonna wanna buy. They get you know, three, four inches, so they're not a small fish by any means, but earth eaters are awesome. Convict cichlids, I could put those on there. Honestly, I have a spawn in this tank right here behind me, as well as some fry already growing out. So those are all could be added in the future, but right now that's what I'm doing. So if you're interested in shipping or selling fish and you're watching this video, check out stockmytank.com. You can see kind of how that all works. It's gonna basically be like the new version of Aquabit. I'm super excited. I'm glad to be a part of it and I'm looking forward to seeing how it grows in the next couple of years. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.